be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now this uh, video we're gonna be doing today is gonna be giving you two ways to make crazy hi-hat patterns in Logic Pro. And we're gonna jump right in, man. Before we do though, make sure you head on over to my website, BeMakingBasics.com, where we got the craziest courses loop packs and templates in the game for people who want to learn how to make beats and logic man be making okay but let's go ahead and check this beat out first okay i'm gonna let y'all check the beat out and then i'm gonna show you how to make two ways to make crazy hi-hat patterns in logic let's check this beat bet so the first way we're gonna make hi-hat patterns right is gonna be using the step sequencer it's probably the easiest way especially for new producers so if you click over here with your editor and then go to uh, step sequencer this is gonna be a step sequencer so I'm gonna turn off this basic hi-hat pattern right here we got different steps you can use 16 steps but if you go to 64 what that's gonna do is basically break it down um, in measures. So, you feel me? This one is gonna represent one measure. It's the second measure right here. And so on and so on, okay? So whenever you set up, select the 64 steps, that's what's going on. So I recommend when you're starting off with doing crazy hi-hat patterns and you're using the step sequencer, go ahead and put this um, at 64 steps so you can do a four bar uh, you know, loop on this. And then you wanna just set this um, loop up on one measure at a time, okay? And basically, I have the uh, quick sampler here selected. I dragged and dropped a a hi-hat pattern, or not pattern, but hi-hat sound in here into the quick sampler. For those of you new, you just go here, um, and I mean up here, and you're gonna select a, a quick sampler, stereo or mono, and um, drag and drop this, the, the uh, sampler in there. We're gonna put this on mono. Let's get into it though, okay? So obviously when you click in here, Every other one is going to be your typical hi-hat pattern. But if you come over here to the far left, drop that down, there's some different options I want you to change. So velocity is cool. You can leave that there, but I want you to go to note and then I want you to go to repeat. Okay. With note, basically you can change the type of cadence of the, uh, of the hi-hat. So we can turn it up, down. This is, you know what I'm saying, what I did with the note. So then with repeat, if you click at the bottom of the note that you're trying to repeat, it's gonna do a simple repeat. And then if you push it up while holding it down, it's gonna do a more diff, uh, diff, uh, complicated repeat or complex. So we'll do it at like five. Let's check this out. See how simple that was. So now all we gotta do is just keep on going here. I'm gonna take this bar and click here. Now let's elevate it, okay? As you saw, it's the very beginning here. I went ahead and made three notes here, but what we could do is Go with the repeat. And now we have two, three, and four. And we also can come over here with a note and with velocity. Put those two together, 
That's what you got. Let's keep on going here over this third measure. All right, so we're going to do something different now. Instead of putting the repeat right there, we'll go like that. And then do something like that. Let's check it out. Let's check it out all together. Sounding lit, right? Now we'll go with this last bar. Okay. And this is what it would sound like without doing any crazy tricks. But what we're going to do is maybe like right here on the third part, do a little something crazy. Put it all together. That's what you got. All right, cool. Now the second way we could do hi hats, crazy hi hat patterns, is by actually coming in the piano roll, which is probably going to be a little bit more difficult, especially if you're a beginner. But the best way to do this is to go ahead. And close all these windows except for pretty much this editor window and you want to scroll in and you just get like right up close to this if you push command it's going to create that pencil button and you pretty much you can just start clicking here to create notes and i recommend starting off simple and then you know going from there and just how i did it with the step sequencer going bar for bar, I kind of I think that's the really the best way to do crazy hi hat patterns just bar for bar. So the same thing here, all you're doing is now taking this note and creating different notes, uh, note lengths. So I mean we can break down like what these note lengths mean, but for the most part, you got different notes, right? Like you got this whole note which is the length of a whole bar or measure. Then you got half notes, half of a bar, eighth note, four for an eighth of, or quarter note, excuse me, a fourth of a bar, eighth note, eighth of a bar, 16th note, 16th. And it goes, you know, further and further and further. 32nd, you feel me, 64th, uh, 164th. But anyway, these different note lengths can create different, you know what I'm saying, patterns and different things like that. So let's say you wanted to do something crazy, uh, simple. Just take the 16th note and do something like that. And basically what I did is I held down option and drug that over there. But if you want to do something even more crazy, just let me create a smaller note, highlight it. Hold down option and drag it over. Another cool trick is like when you're in this piano roll, you can highlight, say you have this like little pattern right here. You already have some notes. You can push com uh, command C to copy it. You put that right there, command, you know, paste it and then push up or down, um, option up or down. And then you can also do other cool things like 
come over here to the note velocity. And make it do a little stuff too. That's gonna, you know, determine how like light, light, you know, soft or loud it is. And then we just kind of repeat the process here, basically. And a simple way to do this would be highlight everything, copy, Command C, paste it, and then just take this variation and move it around. You can take this like that. This is all highlighted. We shorten the notes, hold down option. Now we got an even more detailed pattern. Come over here. Hold on. Um, option. And just doing little stuff like that throughout your, you know, patterns, throughout your the measures and bars. It's going to create variation. It's going to make you create some dope patterns. So for the most part, that's going to be the video, man. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you go to the website, bmakerbasics.com. Get the best courses on how to make bangers in Logic Pro online, bro. I'm telling you, we got nothing but the sauce on here. I know the, th the program very thoroughly, you know what I'm saying? I've been using Logic since Logic Pro 8. So you got to kind of know, went up through all the ranks, Logic Pro 8, Logic Pro, all the different, you know, updates, then Logic Pro 9, all the different updates, Logic Pro 10, all the different updates, then now Logic Pro 11. So I really know this software inside and out, and um, I know what to use and what not to use, what tools are great for beat making, what tools are, you know, unnecessary um, to a certain extent for urban production, meaning hip hop, R&B, trap, you feel me? And also EDM. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to the courses that I have on my site, man. It's going to help save a whole lot of time. These videos are going to be awesome. I'm giving you the sauce right here. But when you get the courses, it just is an even deeper breakdown of everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, highly uh, focused content, curriculums, things like that. So want to check out what we got going on on the site, man. Make sure you also get subscribed to the channel. We have over a thousand videos with tips like this, okay, on my channel. So you can sit here and just binge watch my channel. We also have um, our channel perks, which you'll get to watch videos earlier, quicker than everybody else. Also, sometimes I drop like exclusive content on there. It's only $3 a month. So any price point, whether you you know don't have any money, you can watch the videos on YouTube for free. Whether you want something a little bit more exclusive, you can get you know involved as on the channel perks, three dollars to five dollars, I think. And then you can go to my site. You know, the courses are anywhere from like a hundred dollars to you know you can get the bundle pack. It comes with every single thing on there for like five hundred or two hundred fifty bucks. So it just depends on if we're running the sale or not. But man, we got this rolling. Appreciate y'all, and I will see you in the next video.